A report from the UK shows white British people will soon be outnumbered by Muslim migrants in the city of Birmingham. One America's Pearson Sharp explains how the reversal in population has also brought with it a wave of violent crime. This is Birmingham in the 1960s, a quaint little city in central England full of farmland, churches, and a bustling city center that enjoyed a very low crime rate and picturesque historic streets. Flash forward a few decades. These images aren't from Iran, Iraq, or Afghanistan. No, this is modern day Birmingham. A new report shows native Britons are on their way to becoming a minority in their own homeland. The latest demographics from Birmingham reveals that nearly half of those in the UK's most multicultural city are migrants or foreign born. Experts say that white Brits will soon be outnumbered as the city continues to swell with residents from Africa and the Middle East. There are people from roughly 200 countries living in Birmingham and some 50,000 of them don't speak any English at all. Immigrants make up 60% of Birmingham's growth over the last decade, but have also brought with them a massive spike in crime. Over the last few years, Muslim migrants have created areas of Birmingham known as no-go zones, places where non-Muslims are not welcome. This racist message was spray painted on a wall in an inner city ghetto of Birmingham in August of 2017. Native Brits say that it's a sad truth these areas are here to stay and claim that many migrants have no intention of integrating or becoming British. Government officials say that similar graffiti has appeared in other areas in recent years condemning the hateful vandalism but taking no action against it. A recent government survey found that white residents in Birmingham feared for their safety and said parts of the city were now off limits. In fact, the city has become the so-called capital of jihadism in England. One in ten of the UK's convicted Islamic terrorists comes from Birmingham. The neighborhood of Sparkbrook is more than 70% Muslim and has become a byword for radical Islamism in England. Houses there have been turned into bomb-making factories and were used in the deadly attacks on London's subway system in 2005 that killed 52 people. Muslim extremists have concentrated into several enclaves throughout the city, producing 26 of England's 269 convicted terrorists. One journalist who visited the city, Ross Kemp, said Birmingham is so violent he has to wear the same body armor he wore in Syria for protection. We want to end Islamic immigration, yeah? stop building mosques and madrasas, stop the funding coming in for Saudi Arabia, only for a limited time. When Islam has sorted itself out in this country and across Europe, when it's reformed to fit in with Western democracy and freedom, when that's happened, then, then start building mosques again, but you're just adding to a problem. Yet despite extensive evidence, Birmingham's government is turning a blind eye to the problem, instead calling the city a symbol of multiculturalism. Local leaders admit they're afraid of being called racist, and so they actively avoid getting involved in the city's growing jihadist movement. However, other politicians warn the Liberal City Council won't go after the immigrants because most Muslims vote for the Liberal Party. Local Christians and churches have been crowded out as well, with one main street, Ladypool Road, now home to over 22 mosques. Also on the rise are cases of children being sexually exploited by gangs of Muslim men usually from Pakistan. Local counselors and experts warn that parents are being kept in the dark about such dangers, with the Birmingham Council refusing to alert parents to the situation. One gang member is suspected of raping three schoolgirls, but was bailed out on each occasion. Fourteen other gang members were also arrested in November for sexually assaulting underage girls. And in case some claim this problem is just limited to Birmingham, London, which has also seen a surge in immigration from Africa and the Middle East, just reported a 20% spike in cases of rape. Acid attacks, once unheard of in England, but common in India and the Middle East, are also on the rise, along with a 30% increase in murders. Our message to all of the shops here, all of the businesses, is to fear Allah, fear God, give up the sale of alcohol, join us to command good and forbid evil. Police say they're baffled by the sharp increase, despite a shocking 84% of child grooming and rape cases in the UK involving gangs of Muslim men. Experts predict native white Britons will be a minority in their own country by the year 2050. But far from a multicultural paradise, British cities like Birmingham and London show that this kind of unchecked immigration simply fuels conflict as migrants refuse to integrate and 
radical Islam takes hold. With politicians who protect the guilty simply for votes and police so afraid of being branded racist that they won't tackle the issue, the government is creating ghettos rife with crime and Islamic extremists. Birmingham is a bellwether for the West. Open door mass migration policies are failing, but whether or not the British government takes action to end the problem remains to be seen. Pearson Sharp, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.